Well, this kind of sucks. We have many objects in our scene, our triangle count is very high, and our frames per seconds are very low. Well, let's see how we can fix it using LOD. What is LOD? LOD means level of details. Basically, when we have a lot of objects that some of them are far away, we don't need to render them in full resolution. So when they are far from us, we can render them in low resolution. We usually want to do this before we put all the objects in our scene, but here, because they are all prefabs, it's fine and they all will change accordingly. Let's go to our object prefab and add a cube as a child. Scale it to fit roughly in the shape of the object. I'm just gonna put the same texture on because from far away we won't see any difference. And on the object add the LOD group component. We have four levels of LOD. LOD 0 will be the highest resolution when we are very close to the object. LOD 1 or 2 will be different resolutions when we go farther from the object. And Cult will be the object disappearing away from the scene and we won't even see it. We'll add the mask from the main object to LOD0. On LOD1 and 2 we'll add the child component and if you have more than one child add them accordingly and with some trial and error we're gonna change the transition position of every object. The best thing about this component is that you can see the camera relative to the LOD group. Using the camera indicator on the LOD component and the scene view we can change it so the transition will be seamless. Just a quick and important note while I'm doing this to the second object. For this tutorial I carefully chose rectangular objects because for example when I try to do it with a circle it doesn't get any triangles down. That is why for everything more complicated than this you want to use a 3D software that you can handle those things. And if you don't Really know how to model in Blender or Maya, you can even use Tinkercad with very easy options to get something very close to what you want. Now when we play the scene, we can see that everything look kind of seamless, we can trick it more to be even better, but for this tutorial eh, it's good enough. As you can see we get the amount of triangles we have down by a lot and in a real game it will improve your FPS. And while you're looking this cool transition, I need your help. In this tutorial I try to do something that requires 3D modeling without the 3D modeling aspect. Let me know what you think about it and if I should continue or do something else. I would love to hear your opinion. See you in the comments. Bye!